Hi, in this video, let's continue on the constructor function of system C. I will be explaining another marker called SC has process, which is quite often compared with SC CTOR for constructor function. In order to see the difference between the two, let's first take a look how these two markers are defined. This is the definition for SC CTOR and this is definition for SC has process. The only difference between SC CTOR and SC has process is SC CTOR has an extra statement which defines a constructor function with only one input parameter of SC module name. My recommendation when using SC CTOR versus SC has process is you should not use SC CTOR or SC has process if a module has no simulation processes, which means it has no member functions that are registered to simulation kernel via SC method, SC thread, or SC thread. And if the model needs no additional parameters other than the model name, you should use SC CTOR. When additional parameters are needed, then you should use SC has process. Now let's take a look at some examples. For module A, it has no member functions, which needs to be registered to system C kernel. So we don't need SC CTOR or SC has process. We can simply write a constructor function using the C++ style. Module B differs from module A because it has a member function, func B, which needs to be registered to system C kernel. Therefore, we must use SC CTOR or as it has process to allowing the function to be registered. If we use SCCTOR, then we don't need to explicitly write another constructor function anymore because SCCTOR provides a default constructor function. If we use SC has process, it does not provide implicit constructor function. Therefore, we have to write the constructor function on our own. For module C, we have to pass additional input arguments during the construction. Therefore, we can use sc underscore has process together with a manually written constructor function. Within the constructor function, we provide the input arguments to the class. Module D shows sc CTOR and sc has process can be used interchangeably as long as we put the marker inside the class header. Lastly, module E is an example which shows only SC has process can be used. You cannot use SC CTOR here. For this module, we need to register a simulation function to the system C kernel, but we only write a constructor function in the header of the class. The body of the constructor function it's written outside the module header. Within the constructor function, we can put SC has process here, such that systemc knows this module has simulation processes. Finally, in the main function, we instantiate all the different modules, which basically shows all the method we showed above works. Now let's run it. Okay, module A, B, C, D, E, all works fine. Okay, hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.